Yo. I don't even got my tripod. Like. Let me see the fucking water damage on my fucking car from the rain. My fucking sunroof has a fucking leak in it. It's been a long time. A long time since I've picked up this phone and recorded anything. Like, I don't even. But these last days been super fucking overwhelming. Like, this whole year has been overwhelming. But it's like these last days, it's not really like. It's hitting me. It's hitting me. I've been gone for a while because it's just been a lot. It's been a lot. Um, I don't even know where to start. I really don't. It's like, I don't want to... I said I would never get on camera and cry. Like, I watch a lot of YouTube. Like, YouTube is my TV. And when I see people cry, I be like, I feel so sad. Like, it make me cry. So I be like, don't get on camera and cry. Like, like I don't have no motivation anymore. Like, I just be super fucking depressed. It's like... One thing after another, after another, after another. Like. Mm -hmm. I just been super busy. Like, I was working a lot. Like, I was working, like, the early morning shift to, like, late morning. So, I was always busy. And, like, when I'm not at work, I would just be sleeping. And I was traveling, then I ended up getting really sick a lot. And so I wasn't really going to work that much, so I ended up leaving that job. Still traveling now. I ended up getting COVID. Like, that was a lot. Like, that took a lot out of me. Uh, man, it's like, I don't have no job. I'm not making no money. Like, I gotta find me a job. Like, because I'm always sick. As y'all know, I'm always sick. So, I need the job so I can have medical insurance. So, I had to find me a job. But you can't get medical insurance after you've been working there a year. Like, I've never worked at a job where you gotta wait a year. Like, usually the most be like 30 days or like 90 days but a whole year like usually they wait till after your probation sometimes but some of the other jobs like most of the jobs i work like you get insurance automatically like all the other stuff like the other benefits like say if i worked at one of my jobs and they got flight benefits or something like that or like employee discounts or like like vacation, all that stuff, like you gotta like accrue some time, like be there a year or six months or something like that. But I'm like a whole year and then you it's it's not even a whole year, it's you gotta work there thirteen months. Plus you gotta be making thirty eight plus hours a week and plus work there over a year to get medical and dental insurance. So Bitch, I applied for medical, medical, and I got that. But I just re like they've been getting me to run around with that shit. Like I just recently got that, like a month ago. Like it's what November first. So, and then it's like once I got that, I had to still wait because um they had to contact Kaiser to put me back on Kaiser because that's the only um hospital i've ever had my whole entire life so they had to contact kaiser and then like i just got a notification on the first like i did this last month and i just got a notification on the first that i got kaiser so that's a little bit of less stress but then it's not stress it's not less stress because the reason why i don't even know like how to even 
Like, I'm still in shock myself. Like, I needed this medical insurance because, like, I was being, like, I was hella sick. Like, like when my, my boyfriend's birthday is in August, so we went to Vegas, like, we really been, like, trying to, like, save money and stuff and really, like, buckle down and stop eating out so much and stuff so we can move because we want to move next year. Like, that was our plan. And I'm just like, no, we got to do something because he did something really nice for me for my birthday uh, this year. So I'm like, no, like, we got to go to Vegas. Like, we got to do something. Like, I don't care where we go. Like, we got to do something. And it was last minute. We always last minute. And he know that pisses me off, but... So we went to Vegas and we had fun. Like, I was on my period the first two days, TMI, but we had like a lot of fun. And I wouldn't mind going back. Like, like we had to figure out a lot of shit because this was our first time like traveling together somewhere that we don't both know. Like, I've been to Vegas hella times, but I've always went to Vegas with my parents with my mom because I used to be a cheerleader and we used to go there for competitions and stuff and I only went to Vegas one time as an adult with my friend and it was a, like it was a hell of a so and she traveled all the time like all like hella places like so I didn't really have to worry about nothing so that's why I, we had to we had to like figure it up. I figured it out as we went in Vegas. I know I'm talking all over the place. And we still had fun. Like we didn't do too much, but we still had fun. But we know for next time when we go, I don't know if y'all can hear the train in the background. I live next to the train, the airport, like a main bus uh bus route and BART. I don't know if y'all know what BART is. Like if you um if you look like, 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 you know how New York got, like, subways and stuff like that. It's, like, that's kind of like our subway in a way, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah, so I live next to all of that. So, if you can hear the train in the background, I apologize. Or if you hear a plane going past over my head, I apologize. But, yeah, so, anyways, yeah, Vegas, we had fun. Um... And then, like, when we came back from Vegas, like, probably a week or two later, like, I was super sick. Like, my period was, like, really bad. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, I was in pain, but it was, like, short. Like, it wasn't hella long. Um, But, yeah, and then I came back and I was sick again, of course. But I don't got no fucking, I didn't have no medical insurance at the time. Because that was in August. And it's November. I didn't get it till October. So, I just was pushing through the pain, pushing through the pain, pushing through the pain. And... I was pushing through the pain since August. It's now November. August. So, I've been pushed to the pain for how long? Three months. But... <laughs> I don't know how to feel like, so... I was pushing through the pain and stuff like that, and, and like... The whole time, my lips is hella chap. I don't even know where my lip chip at. I got two in here, but I don't know where they get. Sorry, y'all. The whole time I've been pushing through this pain and just, like, dealing with it, going to work and stuff. Like, I'm at a new job. I'm new and stuff like that. Like, I'm kind of not. Uh, yeah, I was new because I started in July working there. And I thank God because I stopped working at my other job. I stopped working at my other job in July and I got me a new job in July. So that's one thing like I don't I'm not proud to be to have worked a lot of jobs or whatever, but I always bounce back and find another job if I quit one. So I started working there in July, like middle of July. So I was still kind of new after his uh birthday. But yeah, so remember a whole year. So I'm just struggling through. Ooh, don't look at my eyebrows, like y'all. Clearly, y'all see. 
I'm rough, okay? Like, I've been going through it. Like, eyebrows, nails, like, everything. Like, I haven't had my eyebrows, nails, or nothing done since August for his birthday. So, I've been struggling. But, anyways, like I was saying, I've just been pushing through the pain or whatever. And, yeah. The whole time I'm pushing through the pain, like, I'm cramping, like, super bad. Like, I'm nauseous. And my period still wasn't coming. But I'm like, this whole year, my period has been hella irregular. I don't know if it's the stress or whatever, or lack of sleep, my diet, because my diet was changing. As y'all can see from previous videos, I was trying to lose weight, and I was, okay? <laughs> I was losing weight, okay? And... Um, I don't know, like, like, we just was, like, praying for the best, and it's like, I don't have, I didn't have medical insurance, so I couldn't go to the doctor and ask them what's going on, like, like, it's just too much, and then my coworkers, they like, you need to take a test, <laughs> and I'm just like, it's too early, I guess, because they was like, uh, that you gotta wait. I guess two weeks after your period is missed and so we waited two weeks and two days so 16 days after my missed period no no actually the first time we took it it was a week so I was seven days late for my period and I thought that like after you wait a week you can just take a take a test so we took one and it was negative so boom, 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 boom. So, I'm just like, maybe I'm just going through it. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm stressed or whatever. But I didn't feel stressed. Like, I felt calm as shit. Like, I don't know. Like, it was something over me to where I, like, was not stressed out about anything. Like, nothing. No bills. No issues with my family or my related. Like, whatever me and my, my boyfriend is going through. Like, like, trying to find a place. Like, nothing. Like, I was not stressed about nothing. Work, nothing my raggedy ass car like i wasn't stressed about nothing so then um um the hr lady at work she was like no seven days is too soon like you gotta wait till after two weeks of your missed period so i'm like okay whatever but i already said negative so so um i had bought some more pregnancy tests and from work and um, the way my schedule is and the way his schedule is, like, it wasn't, like, we just, it kept getting pushed off, so we ended up doing on my day off, so it was 16 days after my missed period, so two weeks and two days, so I took one, and then I took another one, and then I took another one, and you guys, um, <laughs> I'm pregnant, yeah, I'm pregnant. I would have never, like, I've always wanted to be a mom. I, like, like, I love kids, like, anybody kids, like, whether it be my friends, my family members, whoever, like, I will watch your kids, like, I love kids, but I only watch them till they're, like, five, six years old. After that, I'd be like, oh, I can't stand y'all, but I love kids, like, they so innocent, like, I just love kids, like, everything about them, like, their development, everything, like, it's just amazing, like, babies to kids to, like, growing up to those, to being like this, it's like, damn, you couldn't talk, like, you probably talk, they probably talked in, like, baby talk, whatever, but it's like, you didn't talk, like, you didn't have no teeth, like, like, you couldn't walk, you couldn't do anything, and then it's like, now you like us, it's like, the whole process is just hella, like, it's hella cold to me, but anyway, so, yeah, I just, I always wanted to be a mom, and I always felt like one day I would be a mom, but, like, in the back of my head, I always thought that I would be, because I watch a lot of documentaries and, like, true life stories and, like, read stuff about, like, celebrities and stuff like that, and it's, like, people who, a lot of women who really, really want kids and, like, they like plan for it and all that stuff and they really try to have kids like they struggle or they can't have kids and like it's just a lot and it take a toll and I always in the back of my head thought like what if me what if I'm that person like what if I end up 
being that person that's like, can I like mentally and emotionally handle that? Like, and I don't like needles. Like, y'all, I'm already upset that they gotta do like, uh, take blood for me and all that stuff. Like, I hate needles. Like, I don't know if y'all know what a butterfly uh needle is. It's like the little tiniest little needle that they be using for kids and shit. Like, that's all I ask for. If they gotta give me a big needle, I'm about to have a heart attack and pass the fuck out. So. Anyways, yeah, so I was like, how am I going to be able to handle that, like, giving my own self a shot? If I don't even like other people give me a shot, how am I going to deal with giving my own self a shot to try to have a child? Like, I don't know, like, it take a lot, like, mentally, physically, emotionally to do stuff like that, like IVF and all of that. And I'm just like, I don't know if I'm cut out for that, but, yeah, I like like me and my boyfriend like we want kids like at least like two or three i want four but that's here or there but we want to wait till we move to texas like when we established in texas and we got our own home and all that stuff because y'all know that we live in a bay area where shit is hella expensive like we live in oakland and it's hella fucking expensive here like you gotta live in fucking ten buck motherfucking two and commute two hours to come back to work in Oakland and that one job ain't enough you gonna need two jobs and a side hustle and selling some shit or whatever like just to be in a living in a fucking studio in Oakland and the studios ain't even nice like it's not so he stays with his mom and I stay with my mom so we can save money to move to Texas that was our plan for next year but that was our plan for this year actually but you know with the covid and all that shit like that and then his barber stuff getting pushed back but he graduated my baby graduated i'm proud of him we just wait for him to take the test so he can be licensed a licensed barber but yeah so yeah so that got pushed back so we was gonna move next year but now i'm pregnant so it's like, and according to my app, since I didn't have insurance yet, when I did find out I was pregnant, um, according to my app, I'm supposed to, my baby is supposed to be here in May. But my mom was like, the, when it's your first child, your baby never come when it's supposed to. Sometimes it come a month later. So May, June, July, okay? next year 2022 that's when my baby supposed to be here but it's like how we gonna save money for the baby plus save money for the house it's like it's a fucking lot especially with these whack ass jobs that we got and it's like i be feeling so bad it's like i'm like i wanted to be a mom like i always wanted to be a mom so it's like on the inside i'm happy and i'm excited because it's like oh my god i'm gonna be i'm gonna be a mom i'm gonna have a baby like this is real like this is not no pretend shit this is not a dream like this is for real this is your life this is your reality but then it's like i don't feel like nobody else feel like how i feel like like i understand like it's way more into it and it's like hella stuff you gotta think about when it comes to bringing a baby into this world, especially the situations that we in now, I know it's, like, super overwhelming. So, it's, like, I kind of, like, put all my, like, feelings and stuff to the side and be more serious about it and stuff. And that's why I haven't, like, posted nothing on social media or anything about me being pregnant or told anybody. The only people that know is my boyfriend, his mom and my parents so i don't know it's like when you're excited but you gotta keep it a secret that sucks like i never thought my first pregnancy or any of my pregnancies would be like this like so overwhelmingly stressful like and not in a good way like I'm not overwhelmed with emotions from being excited and happy and blah, 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 blah. It's like, it's just a fucking lot.
I don't know. I don't want to be on here crying. And then it's just like yesterday. Like, it's just been a fucking lot. Like, I've been arguing with my boyfriend. Like, I ain't been getting along with my mom. With my mom. Like, I just, I don't know if it's this pregnancy, but like, I've just been really, like, mean. Like, I hate everybody. Like, when I say I hate everybody, I hate everybody. Like, you just gotta really catch me on a good day or like not even a good day just catch me in the mood because if i just smile a little bit or if i say good morning or hi i'm in a good mood but i could switch on you just like that because i this pregnancy is take it's like taking a toll on me like i be in pain i be sick like i can't do nothing i had to had to cut my hours back at work because uh it's just too much like i can't be there all day and that's another thing it's like so now every bit of money i get i really gotta like penny pinch because it's like this this first trimester that i'm in is just a lot like it's a fucking lot <sighs> like and yesterday my manager was like a lot of people are noticing that um, your energy is like off and it's changed. You're not the same person um, that you were when we hired. And I know that you're pregnant and all, but I just need you to work on it. Get damn fucking right. Like, child, like, I was just telling my boyfriend the other day, like, I feel like no pregnant person should have to work. Like, we should just get a check every two weeks. Or every month or whatever. And just enjoy our pregnancy. And just let our baby grow. Like. I be so like. And especially when I'm driving. Oh my fucking God. When I say my road rage be on a thousand. Like y'all. I be saying like. I be saying some foul shit when I be driving. Cause like. Anything will fucking piss me off. I'm gonna keep cussing, but I'm just trying to vent right now. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this. I'm just sitting in the car in front of my house, like, chill, like, and that's like the baby, like, and then I've, that's another thing, like, I'm really trying to, they're gonna fuck another train. I'm really trying to, like, get in tune with my emotions and really calm down because it's like the baby can feel everything. And I know I'm in my first trimester, but it's like, this baby is really controlling me. Like, I could be super mad and driving and, like, yelling and cussing. And it's like, the baby just, like, shut that shit down. It's like, my, my stomach started, like, making this weird, weird feeling. And, like, my head, like, by the temples get real tight. Like, bitch, you need to calm it down. Like, you, like, you, I don't know. I don't know what that is, but that, I be, like, really trying to work on that. Because I'm, like my body is not my body no more and i feel like i ain't got no control like this baby is just a lot and sorry y'all i don't know i don't know what happened but I'm just stressed, like, um, I didn't, you know, life, you see I'm peeling my fucking skin, I need to get out the car, I ain't putting no lotion on, I ain't nothing, right? I just went to get gas, and then I tried to get me some Burger King, but they ain't serving breakfast no more. That's been my cravings, like, Burger King breakfast and Cheesy Girlie the Crunch uh, combo meal from Taco Bell. And what else? Um, ginger ale, like, ginger ale. Like, that's all I want to drink is ginger ale. So, I guess that's like an update. <clears throat> that's like an update of everything that's been going on. 
my lips y'all i keep looking over here at me and i should be looking at the camera at y'all but yeah i guess that's an update like i did go grocery shopping yesterday after work and i want to make some lasagna so maybe i'll record that i don't know i don't know I'm surprised I picked up this camera. I really am. It's been months since I picked up the camera. To record to talk to y'all. My YouTube family. I don't know. Y'all give me some advice. Send me some videos or something like a link to a video on YouTube or something for first time moms I don't care meditation yoga food recipes like anything it's much appreciated so yeah and I'm like dang so my stomach already is growing. Like, it just started growing. Like, I got a little baby bump. I might show y'all when I get out the car in the mirror. I don't know. But I was, like, really maintaining my weight. Like, I was losing weight. But then I started feeling like it started coming back. Like, because after I got COVID, I really started losing weight. And then I was, like, at 170, 172, I think. Yeah, I was at 172, and, like, I just kept maintaining that weight from 172 to 174. I would never go past 174, but 173 was, like, the main weight I kept being at. And then I felt like I was finna really start going and losing weight. Like, I was, like, buying stuff and everything, getting ready to really put it into action. And then I got sick, and then I'm pregnant. So, yeah. This is my life right now. So, I'm gonna get out the car and fix me something to eat. It's 11.05, so make me some brunch, I guess. I don't know. Um, I need to, cause I had got this like little sealant thing for my, um, for my sunroof. So, I guess I'll do that. I'm going to clean my car. Um, clean my car. Yeah. Eat, then clean my car. I guess. And they be playing basketball again with his brother. And it's every Thursday. And my day's off. Right now, it's Tuesdays and Thursdays. So, um, after he wakes up from his nap, he's going to a barbershop. And then... Uh, I'm gonna come over and then we're gonna go to his game. It's at 6 30 today. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll I'll vlog today. I don't know. Um, I still am trying to figure out how I end up picking up this camera to talk to y'all, but hopefully it continues because I really love YouTube. I love it people that create stuff on youtube i really want to be a full-time youtuber like it's fun to me like vlogging your life like watching vlogs and like seeing different people's lives and they like really letting you into their lives it's like tv for me like yeah but all right you guys if i don't come back um make sure you like make sure you subscribe share this video Give me some advice, whatever. Pray for me and my family. <sighs> yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me vent. And yeah, hopefully I'm back and here to stay. And have a blessed day, guys. Bye. <laughs>